Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Coslix and today we are going to be going over why Orb is one of the best weapons in the game. It's up there with Bow and Scythe. I would say it's definitely top 3, max top 4. But why is Orb so good and specifically Fate? Fate was completely overplayed at final round. Like just was everywhere. And I am going to be going over, well this is Enchantress, but Fate. I'm just going to be going over why Fate specifically was played. But why Orb is busted or really good. And uh, before we get into this, make sure you hit that subscribe because I like you guys and I want you to join the family. But um, uh, I also have a Twitter, so if you want to join or follow me on Twitter, link is down below. Same as my Discord, if you want to join that. But yeah, so let's let's just get into this video. I don't want to ask too much of you guys, but let's just start with the down air. This is you can't punish this. This is an, a move that is unpunishable. The only time you can punish is when you do it on the ground. In mid air, you can move. See how I'm moving in the recovery frames? That means that I can avoid attacks incoming in the recovery frames. Right? If I have momentum, I do the attack and I maintain that momentum. You see my hurt box is moving. So I can't specifically like fully change directions. You can see I try my best to. Like not like recovery. But like, I stopped the momentum there a bit. Like if I've already got horizontal momentum, I'm just going to keep going. So this move, you cannot punish it. It is an edge guard. It is a combo starter. Like that was three dodge frame. Like watch this. I think you can get that true if I do it properly. Two dodge frames. Let me, three dodge frames, two dodge frames. Okay, so it's two dodge frames. So you can bounce it. You got a Sair follow-up that's two dodge frames. I'm gonna try Nair actually. So it depends on like how you hit it. The more vertical or more horizontal it is, they kind of bounce up a bit. That's actually a little inconsistent, so I guess it depends on like, like see uh Okay, so if I got upwards momentum, they're gonna go upwards. So if I go like jump there, stare, that is insane. So then let's try that GC. Nah, like it's just it's a combo starter. It's a it's a it's a string tool. Because then after that, you can go Sair, down light, Sair. Like, it's a string tool, right? It might not be true, but it definitely is a string tool. Two dodge frames. Same as the grounded version. That was one dodge frame right there. One dodge frame. Like, it's a, it's a string tool. So, yeah, there is impunishable string tool. If you try and punish it, especially if I'm, like, in the air... Like, let's say you try and punish my landing. You can't come at it horizontally. I'm just going to side light. Like, let's say I'm falling and I do it there. By the time I reach the ground, I can just end light to stop you. Right? Or side light. Even if I miss it, right? I got so much, like, so little recovery frames. That, like, let's say I do a jump and then I dare. My recovery frames finish... But like as I hit the ground, uh, side light side air is a true combo. I did that one frame. Why am I missing putting it? There we go. It gets a bit easier as they get later in health. Why did I? Why am I missing putting that? There we go. But yeah, it, it's a true combo. At least one dodge frame side light serve. Um, side light. Down light is consistent with follow-ups. You can get dodge reads, so if they dodge down, you go GC side light if they dodge down. If they go up, you can just use recovery. 
And you can also like control the recovery as well. So that's really difficult to punish. The only thing to punish it is because of its long active frames. You can hit it while it's in the active frames. But that's really it because it also has low priority. But still, that, that's difficult to punish itself. Side light is super quick. So that's punishable but it's super difficult. Plus it's got a lot of priority because it hits far away from the body. You can kind of see that's going to out prioritize a lot of moves. Especially combo starters on like... Weapons like Katar, Sword, uh, etc. It's got consistent kill options. Side air kills on Shipwreck. Well, side light side air kills. It's like, it's a bit later than most weapons, but it kind of makes up for it. Like, it's like 10 damage later than light side lights here. Uh, that's consistent. And then you can also land like down light follow ups as well. So, like, at 170, down light Sayer is a true follow up uh, you can go down like GC side light at zero health nair three hit true combo if I input it properly but like it's just got some insane follow-ups and then you can also go like Sarah chase dodge nair that's also one dodge frame or I mean Sarah chase dodge and light or Sarah Sarah and light is a true combo and then end light side light is like two dodge frames insane like it's got like these follow-ups that no other weapon has it reminds me of like katars but has true combo options has combos very similar to lance like side light down light hits you similarly to lance side light nair and side light sayer is the same the only difference is side light sayer is true on orb Plus it's got like other follow-ups. So like if I side light Sayer, wait. I can do like a down air just to space them out and use it as a baiting tool as well. And a combo starter if I land it. So like you have this baiting tool with true combo follow-ups. Or like there it doesn't have true combo follow-ups, but like let's say they miss. So like let's say you dare and then they try and punish you, you can just land side airs and side lights. Side air neutral light is a true combo if I do it properly. Or it's one dot a train, I think, maybe. True combo if I do it properly. And light side light is three dodge frames. If I hit the back part of end light, it's actually one dodge frame and then it can actually become true. It just needs to hit like the far behind part. But still, you got that Nair follow up that's two dodge frames. If they lose a single dodge, you have so many options to follow up. Nair is one of the best moves in the game. It's basically Sword Nair, but it's a combo starter. Like, Nair Sayer is two dodge frames. Uh, Nair, you can go Nair Nair as like a dodge read. It's got a bit more input, but like still, let's say the jump reaction is up. You can keep going with Nair, right? Uh, you can go Sayer Nair if you hit the Sayer high enough. It's just, it's, it's insane. And you have these combo starters that go on forever. It's It's got combos like Katars, it's got Wep moves like Lance and it's as fast as sword like it's literally a Lance sword with long strings like guitars like and true combo it's insane it's insane no other weapon has this and like yes orb is unique that way you can't take that away from orb but it's got the most true combos in the game you don't give something like that true combos this is why guitars doesn't have that many true combos Side light side air is true if I do it properly. Uh, nair, uh, down light nair is true. And you can probably go down light nair jump sair at like four dodge frames probably if I do it properly. Two dodge frames, there we go. Um, side light down light is a true combo that has follow ups. Dare sair is two dodge frames. Down it. Down air side light is potentially true if you do it properly. That was one dodge stream right there. Dare is impunishable, right? Um, 
Sarah Enlight is a true option. I've got a video on 11 true combos before they even buff side light Sarah. Like, it's insane. You can go like downlight recovery. That's also a true combo at later health, right? Like, downlight GC side light is true. And Decider, which is true. And I'm sure you can go into Nair Sarah, which is two dodge frames. I think you have to jump with the Nair. <clears throat> the Nair is a bit harder to hit. But like the Sair, that's consistent. You can go down, you can go side light, down light, down light as like a dodge read if they don't have a dodge or anything or a jump. It's just you got these crazy strings, and when they try and land, you just throw it a dare. It's impunishable. And that's two dodge frames. It, it needs the less true combo. Side light stair should be one dodge frame. Side light down light is pretty consistent. But like down light follow ups, I don't think should be consistent. I think down light should be kind of like Lance Nair. Like it's hard to get them consistent follow ups. But like that's just insane. And then I think dare needs more recovery frames. Like. When the orb was initially released, I thought it was balanced. And I'm like, okay, dare less recovery frames would be nice, but they just remove them all. Like, they need to add some back. It's insane. Or, like, leave something like Sidelight Sarah, but then absolutely kill dare, because dare is way too safe. You can't punish this. This is impunishable, because you can move backwards while doing it, basically. Look at this. So you can really commit so you can do like dash jump there for aggression and commit or you can like jump there and just hold backwards look how far forward i go i don't go forward at all but it covers grounded i can control where it covers grounded right or i can go all the way and then the lower i wait the more it covers on the ground and then i got these follow-ups once i get one dodge they're done kind of like scythe it's just, it's insane. Like, bow covers everything, so I think it's really good in neutral. But this, it covers aerially. It covers grounded, and it has a fast neutral light, which also has a bit of uh, vertical coverage. But downlight specifically has a lot of vertical coverage directly above you diagonally. Nothing directly above, but the nair is so quick. Look at that. Like, that's insane. It doesn't have that much priority, but still, it's a combo starter. You can get Nair Sarah true if you do it fast enough. It's kind of difficult, though. They added way too many in this one patch after Orb was released, and they just need to remove a lot of them that they added. Like, Side Light Sider should not be true. Side Light Downer, sure. Things like Dare Side Light should not even be close to true. And Dare needs more recovery frames. It's just, it's insane that you can't punish this. And I've tried punishing it, and you just can't. You'll miss, and then you'll get punished for it. You just can't. And this isn't because I lost to Tiffany or anything. Because I did lose to Orb in final round, but it's also because Orb was overplayed. I wasn't the only one losing to it. Egg Soup played Orb. Uh, Remy lost to Egg Soup. Egg Soup plays ninth. I'm not saying Egg Soup isn't a good player, because he is, but wh when was the last time he placed ninth? Like, he's a good orb player, but Wilson played Fate in top eight, because look at Fate Sigs. Look at this. That's, that's a light attack. This is a light attack. <laughs> it's a complete anti air when I'm not talking. Like, this covers vertical aggression. This is diagonal. This is side light. It's insane, and it's a, it's a follow up as well. I can go side light and sig and it covers any dodge that's up. Like look at this. If I set dodges to random, doesn't pick up grounded. But it picks up away if I just wait a second. But like down sig is also insane. It's impossible to punish. Like tell me you can punish that. The moment you get around, you're just gonna get hit with a side light, and the moment you're in the air, you can just get hit with a end sig. Like, it's punishable, but it's extremely difficult. This is way too fast. It's got no recovery frames. Like, look at this. Hitbox is done. I'm out. 
done. If you can't punish it horizontally where you should be, because it should have more recovery frames. And sides it just covers a whole lot of range and picks up late. I'm not saying side sig is that busted. I don't think it's that busted. I think it's actually really good. It picks up from the other side of the stage if you're in the middle, which is kind of insane, but you can jump out of it. But this is way too quick. Like once you take an incy bit of damage, that's gonna get a lot of dodge reads in red. Make them all dodge random again. I didn't wait long enough. Dodges away are fine. Spot dodges and dodges up, which are the two most common dodges. Um, uh, down, up, and neutral are the most common ones. This picks up. It doesn't pick up down, but it picks up up and neutral, which is insane. And it's a follow up. And down sig is also insanely quick. This you can't, you don't even touch the ground, so you can't punish it in the ground. You have to punish in the air. So only certain weapons can punish it. Lance dash jump sir won't get there in time, really. Maybe if you're already in the air, but then you're just gonna get hit by it. To punish on the ground, spear down light. That's really it. Maybe axe down light, but no combo starters. So like. You're completely away from any combo starter punish. Down light is a down sig is a bit riskier, but like you can move right after you do it. Like it's just it's insane. Even off stage, it's not even risky. If you're just gonna cover that if someone's like right there, it's got no startups. Like I won't look at these startup frames actually. It's got Okay, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, thirteen, fourteen. I think fourteen or thirteen, because those are actually hitboxes right there. It's got thirteen startup. That's faster than like any combo starter in the game. It's insane. Like this move is faster than a lot of light attacks. This move, I'm pretty sure. Is faster than side light and it's a signet like that's just I'm done I'm done thank you all for watching if you did enjoy hit that like subscribe and comment um, if you think orb isn't busted tell me why in the comments I like hearing your opinions but like it's just it needs some tuning and like there are a lot of weapons that need buffs like cannon in my opinion but like I don't want to completely nerf all weapons it's just orb is one of them that needs nerfs same, I think bow needs some slight nerfs just to make it a bit harder on the follow-ups. And uh, I think scythe needs some nerfs to its active inputs and how fast they are. And also maybe the direction, but I don't know. I, I went over it in my scythe video. Scythe will be receiving some slight adjustments in the next couple patches in my opinion. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But orb is getting the adjustments, so just be prepared. Like. You, after final round, TWK watching, literally there, and how much Enchantress performed and how well she did, like, or Fate, not Enchantress. She's, she's getting tuned. The Sigs for sure, and Orb, I think, a little bit. Anyways, thank you again, and I'll see you guys all later. Take care. Peace.